Hi there, it's Simon from ScanPro Audio. I'm going to show you how to layer and combine some of Ableton's uh, own built-in instruments. You can make um, a whole new sound by layering different virtual instruments together. Uh, I'll show you how to do it. We'll just get in there straight away. If you look at the instruments on your live devices, I'm going to choose um, maybe three of these, combine them and make an instrument rack. So there are instrument racks already available as presets, um, all different types. I'm just going to show you how you put it together and you probably would prefer to do this by yourself, do it this way. What I'm going to do, I'm going to start off first of all with an analog synth. As soon as I open one, I can then start to build the rack. Um, it usually happens this way because you, you may not decide until you've got the right sounds what you're going to do with it. So if I start off with a lead sound, I'm going to use Let's have a look down here. I'm going to use burning lead. So if I just drag that onto a MIDI channel, uh, you can't drop it onto the audio, it won't let you. So if I let go there, now I've got an actual sound. If I arm my channel, I can start to play it. So I've got a sound there. It sounds okay, but what I want to do is group other instruments together and make a rack. The easiest way to show you is go over the instrument and press your right mouse button and select group. What happens now, it turns this into an instrument rack. If I double click there, and then you can put it into the list. There's the rack. If I click the name of the first one I dropped in, double click it, you can see it there. But then there's a new box that says drop MIDI effects, audio, instruments or samples in here. Now whatever you drop in there will add to this rack. Now in this case, I want to add another instrument to it. So what it basically is doing is allowing you to open multiple instruments on one channel. So if I choose another one, I'll go out of here and I'll use operator just to show the different synths. And for this one, I'll, I'll go for synth lead again. This time I use a big nasty regal fifth it's called. If I click that and drag it underneath, it will add it to the instrument rack. So if I solo this one now, it'll play the new one. like a big synth. If I unsolo it, it'll play them both together. So what I'm going to do straight away is add another one. Now I'll, I'll use one of Ableton's other instruments. This one's called Tension and it's basically um, a synthesizer which uses kind of samples of plucked uh, strings. So all these have been made from sort of s samples of strings uh, combined with synthesis. I won't go into detail with that one now, but if I open Synth and I have a look around here, I'm going to choose Flute Like. So I'm going to drag this one to the bottom. Again, if I solo it, I can hear it. Okay, it's quite a interesting sound, but if I combine it with all of them, you got this now. Now, you can probably hear this operator is the loudest of them all. Um, if you look back up to the top here where instruments um, originally it just said uh, analog, but now I've put all three together, it's got the name of the rack. So I'm just going to rename this one here, call it test rack, test rack one. Okay, so if I press return now, there it is, and the name has changed at the top. Now, if I just make that a little bit wider, you can see this little handle here. If you click the handle, it actually opens the volume and panning and track on, off and solo for each of those in the rack. So if I click those now, it treats them as if they were individual. If I click test rack again, it puts them in this view. So what this basically means, if I press play, I can um, balance the volumes to something I like. So you could do like a kind of little mini submix there, but then the volume for all of them is on here. Now just to add some interest to that, and if you've seen the other video that I've done just about using Ableton's effects, you know you can quite easily drag and drop things. So what I'll do on the first one, I'll go back to Ableton's audio effects, and I'm just going to drag a chorus, but I only want the chorus to affect this one that says lead burning here. So when you pick it up and drag it, you're just going to watch what happens. 
it will actually tell you at the bottom it says there insert audio effects after instruments but if you keep moving it an orange line has appeared so if I dropped it here in this gap this effect would um, affect all of them but I want it just to affect the lead burning lead one so I just drag it and you'll see that the bar moves to the left if I drop that now within this tab it will only affect the first one so if I solo the first one either here or here now play it Got a chorus effect here so I've just added that and it only affects that one if I unsolo it now play the others all together that's just one effect on there if I wanted to add something else to this one this less interesting one if I were to put a guitar amp sound on there I mean this view I could just drag it on here uh, but just to show you if you didn't have that view on there's the strings flute so I'm going to, have to drag it just around here so it doesn't affect all of them I'm going to use a guitar amp type cabinet sound so again I'll just drop it there so I'll press play this one just make it like a kind of electric guitar sort of effect uh, unsolo that now so when I play them all together so you know you can do something with that sound you can add more effects to it um, if you watch the video uh, on delay and reverb that would be perfect the next stage to do that was to put some here on the returns and send them try that but one thing you can do if you wanted to use this rack in another track another song in Ableton all you need to do is this I've already renamed it um, test track one if I click here and then find somewhere you want to put it in this case probably a good idea is to put it under instruments on instrument rack because you've made your own and um, as you can see there there's one I've made earlier but I'll just use this one in fact I'll rename it to test rack 2 so I pick this up and you just drag everything and if I drop it in there let go and it asks me if I want to rename it again but that's okay test rack 2 and leave it there so if I now wanted to open it again if I go to file new and I'm confident I don't want to change for saving I can now, this is a new session completely with nothing in it, if I drag Test Rack 2 onto the MIDI channel it opens everything up as it was before and if I press Armour Track I should be able to play it there. It even remembered the, how it had the volume set before as well. So that's one way to get started to create your own sounds you can combine any sounds at all you don't have to just use Ableton's built-in um, sounds you can use third-party plugins as well uh, the main benefit of using Ableton's own is that the CPU um, use is less because it's Ableton's own built-in ones they don't use too many fancy graphics or anything like that but if you do tweak you'll find they've got some great sounds in there so any questions please do um, send us a message on either Twitter uh, Facebook or the blog. I hope that makes some sense and thanks for listening.